What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. And today let's check out an early South Park episode from season one. This is Volcano. Let's do this. Now you be careful, Eric. The woods can be very dangerous. Okay, Mom. Ready to go hunting, Carmen? Yeah, my Uncle Jimbo says we gotta get up there early. That's right, Stanley. Animals are much easier to shoot in the morning. Here, hon. I packed you some cheesy poofs and happy tarts. You'll go and sit in front of the TV and eat cheesy poofs, ass master. I brought my old war buddy dead to keep things safe. Hello, Mrs. Cartman. How are you today? Be sure to use lots of bug spray. This and if you have lines. to poo-poo, don't wipe with poison ivy. <laughs> You give your mommy a kissy. Got the car, damn it, drive! Maybe your mom can give me a kiss too, Cartman. Ho <laughs> oh, ho! Oh, that's disgusting! Ew, piece of crap! <laughs> that's the spirit, boys! Let's get that testosterone flowing! I want you to understand a few basic rules of hunting since this is your first time. Okay. Don't ever walk with your gun unless the safety's on. Second, don't shoot anything that looks human. And third, never spill your beer in the bullet chamber. We'll be doing plenty of drinking on this trip. After all, hunting sober is like fishing sober. <laughs> okay, each of you youngins take a gun, a beer, and some smokes. This is like wow. the gun I used in now. Where are you stationed in the name? Carmen always makes stuff up, Ned. You can't believe anything he says. Hey, I'll blow your freaking head off. Oh, hey, look no. out, son, that's dangerous. You gotta spill your beer. <laughs> My Uncle Jimbo says that after this, he's gonna take me hunting in Africa. Wow, that'd be cool. My mom says there's a lot of black people in Africa. Looky there. Yeah. That there's a Rocky Mountain black bear. One of the few remaining of its kind. Isn't it beautiful? My God, it's coming right for us! <laughs> hey, it wasn't coming right for us. It was just sitting there. Shh, not so loud. Now that there's just a technicality. The Democrats have passed a lot of laws trying to stop us from hunting. Democrats piss me off. They say we can't okay. shoot certain animals anymore unless they're posing an immediate threat. Before we shoot something, we have to say, it's coming right for us. Oh, it's a deer. Looks like about a 46 gauge, Ned. It's coming right for us! Really? Oh, goodness. Kick ass! Traumatized. This one's yours, Dan. It's coming right for us. I got your back, soldier. I can't. What's wrong with you? I don't want to <laughs> shoot the bunny. My dad used to go hunting a lot, and I guess I just never went because, kind of like Stan, I didn't really want to shoot anything. But I did eat the deer sausages later. They were good. Go back to Woodstock if you can't shoot anything. I can shoot you, fat ass! I can shoot you too! I'll kill you! I'll fill you full of lead! With all the discussion and debate about gun laws and gun control... Gun control! I wonder how much backlash South Park got for that... Just that one scene with Stan and Cartman pointing guns at each other. <laughs> Randy! First appearance! <laughs> and of course he falls. <laughs> yeah, Frank, it's uh, Randy. Uh-huh. Listen, the uh, the little needle is moving. Yeah, it's going back and forth really fast. What does that mean? Uh huh. Uh huh. Still dope. Let me check. Yeah, it's smoking. Really? Oh my god! A volcano! <laughs> this wood won't burn. Well, Dad, looks like we'll have to use the old Indian fire trick. Yeah, oh no. <laughs> Stop drop and roll, Dad! <laughs> Whoa! God damn it, Dad, I just got that bad. How the hell are we supposed to get home? This works pretty good right now. But you see, Mr. Really? Mayor. You can't stop serving Salisbury steak in our public schools. What can be so bad? It's Salisbury Steak Day. Mayor, the geologist is here to see you. My geologist? Now? Tell him the infection is fine and I don't need another checkup. <laughs> no, Mayor, that's a gynecologist. A geologist yeah. studies the earth. How dare you insult my intellect? I went to Princeton for God's sake. You get out of my office. I'm not in your office, Mayor. I'm talking to you through a speaker. Just send in the geometrist. Geologist. You are fired, buddy! 
Mayor, we have got a very big problem. Mount Evanston is about to erupt. I love how different Randy looks. Look at his hair. What does this mean to the town? Well, this graph shows everything from normal to bad. Right now, South Park is here. I want you to get on the phone and call Inside Edition, Rescue 911, oh, and Entertainment Tonight. You better get my stylist on the phone, too. Don't worry. Things are under control. Dad picked up the grenade and boom! Blasted his arm clear off. We spent three hours looking for that damn arm. Some say it's still crawling around to this day. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> That's not scary. You were scared, Cartman. You almost peed your pants. Shut up. I didn't pee my pants. You boys want to tie one on? No, no thanks. That stuff tastes like pee. Yeah, Cartman's pee. Ah, you would taste my pee. What the no, hell's wrong with you? Can't that. you handle a little alcohol? No, Christ, Kenny. Christ, where did that little bastard go? Now, now that is a dirty little bastard. Hey, I'm a dirty little bastard, too. Have you guys ever heard of Scuzzlebutt? Scuzzlebutt is a creature that lives up on this very mountain and kills anybody who dares climb to the top. Why? Because it loves the taste of blood and likes to add pieces to its deformed body. On his left arm, instead of a hand, he has a hook, a knife. No, a piece of celery. Celery? Yes, and he walks with a limp because one of his legs is missing. And where his legs should be, there's nothing but Patrick Duffy. Patrick what? Duffy? <laughs> Damn it, Carmen, that's not scary. Have you ever seen Step by Step? Step by Step. So he yeah, lives alone on this mountain <laughs> and weaves baskets and other assorted crafts. Carmen, you suck at telling scary stories. Yeah, give me that flashlight. What is that? Maybe it's Scuzzlebutt coming to weave us into wicker baskets. I hope he doesn't cut me with his celery hand. <laughs> hey, Dad, watch whip out the old cancer kazoo. Let's do a little sock. Cancer kazoo? Boom, bye, my lord. Boom, bye, Oh, lord. Boom, bye, Boom, someone's crying, Lord, goodbye. You don't think Scuzzlebutt is scary, huh? Boom, someone's Let's crying, Lord, goodbye. see how they like it when they actually see Scuzzlebutt. I'll scare the hell out of him tomorrow. I don't know where Cartman is. I think something took him away. Where's my Uncle Jimbo and Ned? They're out fishing with Kenny. But this is supposed to be my camping trip. Why do they like Kenny so much? Doesn't he like me anymore? You want to know what I think? What? <laughs> There's one. There's a fish right there. Great instincts, boy. Uncle Jimbo, Cartman's missing. The fat kid? Dad, we gotta cut it short. Fire up to 1220. That probably killed all the fish. Well, I think that's about the limit for our fishing permit. Mm, yeah. Man, it smells like dead fish here. <laughs> mm, oh man, that is nasty. I don't think I've ever seen a kid as cool as you, Kenny. I'm making you my honorary nephew. A ticking time bomb of hot lava waits to engulf these people and end their miserable lives with one last fleeting moment of excruciatingly painful burning agony. Now that I think about it, Mount Fuji is a giant volcano. Hey, I'm on TV! I'm on TV! Mayor, what are you doing to prepare for this inevitable catastrophe? All we know right now is that some of our children are camping on that mountain and... Oh, I'm sorry, can I start over? Huh? Well, you can edit this, right? Ready? Three, two, one. All we know right now is that some of our children are up camping on that mountain. There's not many animals out today, Jimbo. Yeah, it's almost like something funny's going on. Yep, the animals are the first ones to know. There's a ram! Nice oh, shoot, Kenny. Kenny. Here, you need a bigger gun. Look! I am Scuzzlebutt, Lord of the Mountains. Behold my Patrick Duffy leg. Mm, what is it? Dude, it's Scuzzlebutt. We can make a mint kill in this thing. We'll be on the cover of Guns and Ammo. Holy crap! Yeah, I think I missed. Mayor, I might have an uh, idea. Oh, what? Well, if we can dig a very large trench, 
we can divert the lava into a canyon, and then it would bypass South Park pretty much completely. Okay, people, change of plans. Half of you grab shovels. These look like his track. He must have gone this way. Ned, prepare some HK-12 and some plasticine. I'll bet that sucker's headed for a higher elevation. The higher up it burn! The higher up it goes, the better it can breathe. Huh? Is that the higher up it goes, the better it can breathe? Gotta get out of this stupid costume. Kenny, you take the front. No, I can do it, Uncle Jimbo. I want to bag that animal. That's the spirit, kiddo. I have special ordered this training film to assist us in volcano safety. Mr. Garrison, if you would, please. Harbingers of sorrow, natural disasters can be the cause of troubling and undesirable stress. And a volcano is no exception. Here we see the Stevens family enjoy a Sunday picnic. But suddenly, daughter hears a noise. Jane learned in school what to do when you hear a volcano erupt. That's right, Jane. Duck and cover. What? That's not So what work. will you do when you hear a volcano erupting? That's right. Duck and cover. <laughs> Looks like you got the idea. Duck and cover. Be sure and remember what Bert the Turtle just did, friends. Duck and cover. Thank you and goodbye. Huh? That reminds me of those tornado drills in school where they used to have us go into the hallway and then kneel down into these crazy uncomfortable positions as if me kneeling down and covering my neck is gonna keep the debris from this tornado from destroying my entire body. That has got to be the most ridiculous load of pig crap <laughs> I have ever seen. That's exactly, a dumb out of chef. you! Hey, seriously, you guys? Can't you Kill hear it? Man. Kill it. Ah, oh, damn it, I can't do it. You pansy, give me that gun. <laughs> hey, Hartman? God damn it, don't shoot me! What the Sam hell? Whoa! No, holy crap. It's blown its top! Look, the volcano! Quick, duck and cover! <laughs> that lava is coming right for us! <laughs> Jiminy Poke, it's the real Scuzzlebutt! Oh my god, look at his leg! Hi kids, I'm TV's Patrick Duffy. Oh no, out of ammo. Well, boys, I'm sorry I got you all killed. <laughs> Whoa, he built a wicker basket. Hey, he's saving us. <sighs> My calculations work. The lava's following the trench into the canyon. Where exactly does the canyon go? Uh. <laughs> South Park is saved. Hey, look! Kenny's okay! I'm getting word that the chef of the school cafeteria wants to sing a song about this thrilling struggle of humanity. Every time we make love, that's lava. Hot lava. Lava so hot it makes me sweat. Lava so warm and red. Mayor, what do you have to say about this wonderful outcome? We owe everything to this friendly, yet misunderstood creature. Friend! Oh, how sweet. Oh. I did it! I did it! I finally killed something! No! Why, God? Why? Damn it, Stan! You shouldn't have done that! Only now, in this late hour, do I see the folly of guns. I'll never use a gun again. Okay. But I just wanted you to be proud of me, room. like you were with Kenny. But Kenny's dead now, Stan. And you're always going to be my nephew. I don't understand hunting at all. Yeah, it's stupid. Let's go watch cartoons. Yeah, cartoons kick ass. That one was okay. I really like that duck and cover safety video, though, because there is so much truth to that. If Mother Nature is raging, you just don't really have a whole lot of options, right? You can get as far from the situation as possible, or if you can't, hopefully you're lucky enough to survive. But anyway, if you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.